Hello children, how are you? Welcome to the English teacher class. I hope you all are safe at home. Today we are going to learn about the 7th class 6th unit. The Fortune favors the brave. A reading, a hero lesson. Let's recap the previous part. Father was sitting under the whole lamp and reading a story in newspaper. And said a story to Swami. Then father ordered him to sleep in the office room. Swami pleaded, let me sleep in the hall, father. Your office room is very dusty. And there be be scorpions behind your law books. There are no scorpions, little fellow. Sleep on the bench, if you like. Can I have a lamp burning in the room? You must cultivate good habits. Will you at least leave the door open? Alright, but promise you will not roll up your bed and go to your granny's side at night. If you do it, mind you, I will make you the laughing stock of your school. Swami felt pained and angry. Swami didn't like the strain of cruelty he saw in his father's nature. He hated the newspaper for printing the tiger story. As the night advanced and the silence in the house deepened, his heart beat in faster. Swami was faint with fear. Swami fastly got up and spread his bed under the bench. And crouched there, he shut his eye tight. Swami fell asleep. In his sleep, he had a terrible dream. A tiger was chasing him. Swami tried to escape, but his feet could not move. He tried to open his eyes, but his eyelids would not open. He groaned in despair. At last, he put his hand out to feel his granny's presence as was a habit. He shook in fear and closed his eyes. After a moment, he heard a little rustling noise in the room. What can this be? thought Swami and slowly opened his eyes. Something was moving in the darkness. Swami was in horror. He thought the devil will soon tear him to pieces. As it came nearer, Swami crawled under the bench. At once, he clutched its leg and dug his teeth in. Then all are heard a painful cry. Ayo! Something has beaten me. Everyone in the house is weakened by the loud noise. After a moment, father and servant came running with a light. They catch the burglar who lay amidst furniture with a bleeding knee. The night passed away. The next day was a day of congratulations for Swami. Teacher patted back for his courage. His friends looked at him with respect. The headmaster said that he was a true scout. Police were grateful to him. The father returned home from the club that night. He asked, Where is the boy? He is in sleep. So early, where he is sleeping? In his usual place, father exclaimed. Let him sleep where he likes. You need not risk his life again. All right, pamper him and spoil him as much as you like. Swami was following the whole conversation from under the blanket. He felt a great relief to hear his father giving him up. 